JDB Gaming here bringing you another episode to my Coventry City career mode series. What an episode it was last time. Four matches against three of the top six and we've won all four matches. Reached the top of the table, three points clear as well. This season is going amazingly well. This is the next month, we're into March now. Five games as you can see. A couple of tricky fixtures again, Burnley in the top six. Um, and then just other fixtures might also be tricky like Fulham and um, QPR but without further ado let's jump into this game looking at the lineups for this match against Fulham as you can see um, this is the Fulham lineup because they're home they have a couple of good players in there to keep an eye out for one being Floyd Aite on the left and then Kearney on the right um, oh they don't have the player Niskins Cabano on so he might be on the subs anyway this is my team as you can see I've mixed up a little bit Thomas comes in up front with Collins um, Jones comes in at centre attacking mid and Rose is at centre mid with Stevenson otherwise it's the an unchanged five at the back so in the last episode four wins from four matches let's see if we can try and match this in this episode we're in a really good bit of form right now and as if we keep going like this we're going to get promoted which sounds insane I mean if you have a look at my team it's going to really struggle in the Prem we're going to have to have some serious investment so hopefully we can get lots of money if we do get promoted but Passing like that suggests we won't do very well. <laughs> right, anyway. Played up the line to Christiansen now. What's he going to do with it? Not a lot, it seems. Stevenson. Oh, he's just pressured Parker and he's won the ball. Keep going with it. Flay through Collins. 1-0 already. <laughs> Not even 10 minutes has gone and we're winning 1-0. We are seriously ripping up this league right now. I mean, we won that ball back in the centre of midfield way too easy from Parker. And then a simple finish, first time finish from Collins into that bottom left hand corner. And it was a good finish as well. So we have a throw on this far side now. We're going to throw into the feet of Rose. Turns brilliantly. Edge of the box now to Stevenson. Go and have a long shot. No, thought better of it then. Oh wow, he has one in... <gasps> <laughs> I'm just going on about how I better not have a long shot, you know. And then he turns his man brilliantly as I'm speaking. <laughs> and then releases an absolute screamer. Jeez, look at this again. He's such a good player for us, Stevenson. Look at this. The, the Fulham, I don't know what the Fulham player was doing. Scott Parker, once again. And look at that long shot. Maybe it wasn't in the corner as much as I would have liked. But, you know, it was far enough in there for the keeper not to reach. 2-0 with 15 minutes gone already. Well, at this rate, I think we might be giving Fulham an absolute demolishing right now. I don't see how they can get back in this game right now. We've given them no chances. 15 minutes gone. Christiansen now over to Kearney. What's he going to do? Hernandez chases him down the line, but he's hold, held off Hernandez. Cuts in, pulls it back. No. Oh, wow. And a bit of fortune, and they've got it in. And that's their first shot of the game as well. Bit of poor defending, couldn't keep with the man. I don't know what that was then. And in all fairness, Gunn was never really going to say that because it was point blank. Point blank at him and it's gone between his legs. Oh my god. So out of nowhere, we went from being comfortably winning this game and I was so confident to now losing... No, not losing, but conceding one and now only winning 2-1. Edge of the box now. Oh no, Broughton Stevenson out of... No, he's hit the post. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Switch it over to Kelly Evans, but it doesn't matter because the first half whistle has been blown and we go in at 2-1. We were looking so comfortable, 15 minutes gone, then Fulham scores an equaliser. And then from then on, they just... I was scared, not going to lie, because it looked like momentum had sw um, switched over to them. And we didn't really create anything after those our two, two goals and then when Fulham um, equalised. So I've just made the one switch going into this second half. Ben Stevenson ran his heart out, scored a goal as well, so he was tired. So I thought I'd give Musa Kone the second half. Pierre was trying to get out muscled by Akasaki, but Akasaki did well then actually, and they played it up the line. I brought Joy. What was I doing? <laughs> that was all me. I don't know what I was doing then. Oh, two all. Oh wow, well, I don't have myself to blame. Gonna try and get it near post. It's good enough. Collins! Oh, what a powerful header, but he's blasted it over the bar. Cross comes in. It's a nice ball. Doesn't come to anybody in the end. And now 
What's Turnbull doing up front with Kelly Evans? Go on, keep running. Keep running. Keel, go on. Keep running. No, he's been tackled. He's won it back, though. Kelly Evans. Oh! <laughs> Kelly Evans just kept running and running then. And then he got tackled. I didn't do anything special. just kept running. Then he got tackled. Then he won the ball back. Look at this. <laughs> won the ball back there and then has a shot. Not the most powerful, but low on the ground that the keeper couldn't get to and it's 3-2 so after that goal I'm doing a double switch just thought I because I need to change the squad up Collins is tired so I'm bringing on Pino Malapa for him and I'm bringing Hernandez off so I can give Marvin Johnson a run out and now they can come away with it I think they're going ultra attacking now I mean all out attack because they have um, only a few people at the back defending free for Malapa go on please finish the game no, not good enough. And but Johnson was there to tap it home. I think he accidentally chipped it because I tapped L1 to switch over to him. But it doesn't matter. It's gone in the back of there and he's got his first goal for the club. Yeah, he does chip it, but it doesn't matter. It goes into the roof of the net and he's got his first goal and it's 4-2. Surely we've won the game now. Shift over to Tor. I was going to say Thomas, but the defender got a foot in then. And that is the end of the game, and we've won it 4-2. That is probably the most exciting game I've played in this season, in this series so far. 4-2. We were 2-0 up, and they brought it back, and then we got another 2 in the second half. Jeez, that's an entertaining game. And I've got to give it to Fulham. They probably didn't deserve to lose it, but we turned out to be the better team. So our next game of the episode is home match against Burnley. As you can see in the bottom right, they're third. And we're first by five points. Middlesbrough drew the last game, so we've pulled away. Oh, wow, this is exciting. 11 matches left. <laughs> and we're five points clear. Promotion to the Prem is seriously becoming a possibility right now. It's scary because our squad is not that good. But, yeah, let's focus on now and jump into this match. So here we are, the home match against Burnley. Last time we played them, it was the opening day of the season. And we absolutely demolished them at Turf Moor 4-0. Monka even got his first goal there for the club. This is the team I'm playing. As you'll see, we have some great news. Look who's starting. Um, the left striker. Leko is back, finally playing for us. He's been injured twice in this season, but he's back and playing. The only other changes really is Kone comes back in the team and Johnson starting at left wing back. This is the Burnley team. They've got some great players in there. Tom Heaton, he's a great keeper. Gray up front, he's great. And then Brady and Defoe in midfield. Some great players there. It's going to be a tough match. So if we have any performance like we did against Burnley at the opening day of the season in this match, then we'll surely come away with no less than the three points. It's, I mean, we're right now in the, the greatest bit of form, I think, we've been in this season so far. Looks like we might be able to catch them on the counter. And getting in pace behind might be the way to do it. <laughs> nice tackle then from Johnson. Munker, Frufa, Collins. Again, he's been forced out too wide. Pull it back to Munker. And the ball's just behind him, so it's a tricky shot, but he was able to get it on target, but it's still an easy save for Heaton. Gray's got it. Tried to get the tackle in, didn't work. Comes back to Gray, has a shot. Burnley's first shot, and of course it goes in the back of the net. I mean, give, give them credit, Burnley are a good side, and I did say it was going to be a tough match. And they're probably a team in this division where if you give them one chance like this, they're going to put it away. It was that slide tackle from Turnbull, which opened up a space to then pull it back to Gray. And he had a good... Ah, oh, it's a good shot. Kelly Evans heads it and we're able to clear it. And that's the end of the first half. Um, Yeah, it's just 1-0. I don't have much to say, really. Moncur now into the feet of Kone. Pulls it back to Stevenson. Let's have a look. A trademark long shot. Oh, <laughs> that was a great pop and a good save from Heaton out for corner now. Monker whips one in, don't really get ahead to it, can he whip it back in, and he whips into the feet of Collins, turns his man brilliantly, have a shot, gets blocked, out for another corner, we're going to pass it near here to Kelly Evans, can he get a cross in, he does, over on the far side, but it's over here and no one's there, can Leko keep it in, no he can't, comes to nothing, less than four minutes left, we can try and get catch him on the counter from this corner if we're lucky enough, no, the volley comes in, but it's straight at Gunn, and now he can catch them, surely. Munkar, over to Kone now. He's so tired, no one's giving him an option. No, it's just, ah, oh, the Bernie defender. Timed that tackle to perfection, and now they're through with Barnes. Tried to pass it back over to who we got the ball from, but we just won the ball back. Ball's been lobbed up the pitch to no one. Oh. Harris then can't win it back. 
Pierre Evans come across, Cross comes in, do we win the header? Kelly Evans does, but it's only gone as far as Badu on the edge of the box. Short comes in, gets blocked from Kelly Evans. No, and that's it. Four time whistles been blown, and we've won the match. No, we've lost, sorry, the match 1 0 to a very good Burnley side. They just limited us to really having hardly any chances at all in this game. I mean, if I have one or two chances where I'm shooting a goal, I mean, I'll be lucky. And there you go, and that just shows you how exciting this match has been. Two saves from Heaton, so, you know, we were lucky in that respect. So, this match against Wolves is a home match. To make this episode a little bit shorter, I'm actually going to simulate this. We are still top of the league, as you can see. One point. It's got a game in hand against Burnley, and they obviously won that game. So look at that. It's still very tight. So me saying we could get automatic promotion. I spoke too early. Look at that. It's going to be very tight. Hopefully we can pick up some points in this simulated match against Wolves. So as we just get into this match and as it's loading, I'm just going to talk you through the team. Of course, I've mixed up because we only had the Burnley game a couple of days ago. So Mitchell's at right wing back, and Hernandez returns at left wing back. Then my three centre back, Salia High Turnbull Robinson. And um, Gadjev comes in for a rare appearance um, with Rose Jones up front. Malapa, yes, who's scored, and he's alongside Thomas. And let's simulate the rest of this match. And we've won 1 0. What a simulation. That win against um, Wolves then was so, so vital for our push for promotion. Such a good match. And it's also convincing that we can simulate games and come away with results. And look at this. Middlesbrough are two points behind us and only Burnley are only four points. It's still very tight. We could drop out of the top two spot at this rate. Looking at the lineups for this match now, having a look at Bristol City's. They've, they've got a good team, but the one player, the striker, Tammy Abraham, Tammy Abraham, who's ripped up the championship in real life this season. And uh, he's on loan at Chelsea in real life, but the game hasn't got that. But anyway... Coventry City now, as you can see, Gunnar's not in goal, I'm trying something different, I'm giving my youngster Harvey Jackson a going goal, and then Moore is also at centre back, um, but up front wise we have Leco and Collins. So I'll give you the reasoning as to why I've put Harvey Jackson in at goal, um, I, it's basically a game with this Gunn issue, if Gunn decides to leave us, at the, or Gunn decides to not sign a contract with us and you know he just wants to go back to City, then we won't have a first team keeper. We'll we'll have to sign a new one because Jones is not good enough. So my theory is if I have one of my youngsters in goal and I can put him up, you know, train him, then maybe we could get him good enough. And if Gunn doesn't sign a contract, that might not be a big issue. But I'm just trying it to see what he's like. And meanwhile, they're coming on the, the attack now, Bristol City. And he he's going to have his first bit of action. And we've just conceded from Tammy Abraham. Of course, I did identify him as the main threat. So what a great start, may I just add. You know, just talking myself through as to why I'm playing Jackson. And then all of a sudden, he gets his first chance to make a save. And he's absolutely bottled it. Anyway, Monker now. Oh, he's turned brilliantly then. He's got some space to run into. Ah, oh, fortunately, he's trying to do too much then and just run into trouble. Oh, come on, up the line now. Hernandez having a race on his hands. He's won it. And he's just been hacked down by the player as a result as well. Surely that's a yellow card. Thank you, ref. Stevenson holds off his man brilliantly. He can dribble. And he's got good dribbling as well. Oh, he's just been hacked down then and by the player. And that's surely another yellow card to a Bristol City player. Uh, yes, it is. And now Bristol City can come away with it. Tammy Abraham tall can hold up play as well oh dear Moore came over to try and win the ball then completely missed it and he's got himself a yellow card as a result he's going to do it over the top in behind Kelly Evans but the pass wasn't good enough and we were able to get a block on it and intercept it through now come on Neko please no he's been driven far too wide going to cut it back let over to Munker to, to Collins thank the lord he scored and we've made it 1-0 just on the end of the first half. Good play here from Lecker. Cuts it back onto his right foot to Monker, who then plays it over to Collins, who then smashes it home. And look at that. That's his 11th goal. He can't stop scoring right now. And that was it. And that was literally the last kick of the first half because the ref has blown his whistle after a few touches from the Bristol City players. And we go in at 1-0. I was going to say, it, was, it would have been quite a disappointing first half if we, were, if we had gone in 1-0. But the last-minute chance and goal from Collins has sort of levelled the playing fields. But... It's not been the most exciting first half at all. In the middle now to Monker, to Kone, through for Collins, 
Go on, take a touch and have a shot. He does. Ah, oh, but the shot was right at the keeper and he made a symbol save and it's gone out for a corner. Cross comes in from the corner. Jackson comes out, catches it well as well. Throw it up the pitch to Lecco. Over to Stevenson. Through for Munkar. Oh, ref, come on, play the advantage. Oh, wow, it's a second yellow card. I didn't realise that. He's off. So Bristol City have gone down to ten men. OK, maybe I can still understand why he brought the play back, but he should have let play continue then. Jeez, come on, we are through. Over to Johnson now. Someone's got to give me a run. Wow, I've just been taken out then. Bristol City love flying in. And that's another yellow card. That's the fourth yellow card in this match. Ah, oh, but the ball wasn't good enough and it's gone out. I think the match is just going to stay one all. I mean, that red card situation just sort of... Even though they've gone down to ten men, you wouldn't know it. It's just been such a boring game after that red card. Really wish the ref had played advantage then, because we were probably through on goal. And that is the end of it. And that is the end of the match. <coughs> one all. Exciting match up until the red card, and after that, so dull. I mean, I don't think there'll be any highlights after that red card. I really don't. Into the last game of the episode now, and it's a home match against QPR. This is the team I'm lining up against. Gunn does return in goal. Stevenson Kone. And really, I think that's it for the same team wise as for my strongest 11. So we had a disappointing one all draw with Bristol City. It wasn't an exciting game at all. I mean, <clears throat> looking back at it, we were probably lucky to get a point at all. And, oh wow, we've already come forward with this. Good shot from Kone. Collins. Ah, it gets blocked and now they can come away with it. Oh, this has been a bit of a boring match. Perch now through for Luongo. Over to Woods. Good save from Gunn then. Leko now to Monker. Go on, finally we've got some space for Leko. Nice, he's just breezed past this man and, he, and that man as well. Go on, have a shot. Oh, it's just over the bar. It was the sort of run we've been looking for from him for so long in this match and unfortunately he's missed it. And we go in at nil-nil for what has been a very dull game until that last chance by Leko. Hernandez, no, comes out to try and win the ball. Harry won it back but then he gets tackled again from the QPR player through for Wood. Oh, the composure was not there, he's blasted it over. He does a good job to force the player out wide and the player then crosses it in. And QPR have won the ball. Yeah, and that's simple as that. I brought my keeper out to try and pressure the player. And then my centre-back decided to not stick with his man. And look at that, it was a simple tap-in. And we're losing this game one freaking nil. Through for Hernandez. He's got some space to run into. Someone please give me a run. No, Hernandez is going to have to go all by himself. But no, he's been shifted over. Stevenson has a shot and it's hit the post, but the wrong side and it's gone out for a goal kick. Stevenson long, Stevenson's long shots are so dangerous. Oh, like it's so nice to have a long shot taker in your team now. Going to play into the middle now to Monko. He's held off his man. Well, can he keep going with it? He does. Have a shot. Yes, he does. And he's find the top left hand corner. And we've equalised one all. Nice play. Finally, we've got him through this very strong resolute QPR team we just kept dribbling with Munker they changed man to try and defend me and as a result we had that space and Munker just blasted it home Pierre now oh no he's been turned too easy by the QPR man edge of the box nice tackle from Harris doesn't really win it somehow Wood gets the shot off but Gunn is there to match it and he saved it it's gone out for a corner now oh and a good ball roll to cut back inside he keeps going with it Thought it may have died then. Stevenson in his right foot. Oh, low on the ground and a good save from the keeper. We've suddenly come to live in this match now. Cross comes in. Good header from... Oh, wow. <laughs> I think one of the luckiest goals I've ever scored. And Monko was able to get a head on then. And Turnbull wasn't at the back post and he was able to touch it home. I didn't say shoot or anything. But obviously the... the uh, um, computers must have done it for me and we've scored and it's Turnbull our captain his second goal and we're winning 2-1 we've flipped this match on its head now Kone now through for Kelly Evans oh, he's won the he's been tackled and a dangerous position for us can they get the cross and no they pulled it back to see her has a shot just wide oh wrong ball that was meant to go to Leko then unfortunately that is it 
that is the match. The full time muscle has been blown and we've come away with the win. 2-1. Goals from Moncur and Turnbull. And there we have it. That is the end of the episode, guys. Let's have a quick look at the table. Oh, wow. Middlesbrough obviously must have lost their game. In ha their game. And uh, we've gone back up to first. But it's still so tight. I mean, look at that. Burnley are behind us with two points. Then Middlesbrough with three. And then I wouldn't say Aston Villa, Hull or Sheffield Wednesday are out of it at all. And then there's a massive gap between sixth and seventh. So we have secured at least a or, um, a promotion spot, whether it's automatic or a promotion playoff spot. And so, yeah, it's been a really good season. Not the top goal scorers, only scored 58 goals, which isn't bad. But we've conceded the least at 30, which is very good. With seven games left, it's becoming very tight. But anyway, for the meantime... Those seven matches are for another episode, probably another two. And so I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, then do please leave a like. And see you all in the next one. Bye.